Hey guys, this is Advanced Logic, and welcome to my next Let's Play. And yes, I went through that whole thing without talking. I'm surprised I even gone three minutes without talking whatsoever in my entire life. Anyway, this is of course Tales of Symphonia for the Nintendo GameCube. And if you guys know, if you guys have seen my previous Let's Plays, you should know I've done Tales of Vesperia in the past. And yes, it's pretty much a given that I would do this in the future. Right, I'm just checking like the options and stuff before we actually get started. Window, eh, eh, eh. Okay, maybe this one. Maybe. Yeah. Screw it. I'm just trying to get things figured out here. Eh, and that's good. <laughs> now I'll change the window colors and such at another time. For now, let's actually get into this because ah, uh, the game that got me into the Tales series in the first place, even though I've only other play the only other get Tales game I played is Tales of Vesperia. But, hey, I'll work on Tales of the Abyss if it comes out on the 3DS in North America, and Tales of Graces F if it ever comes out in North America within 2012. But enough of that. This is going to be a long Let's Play, so let's get into it. And, of course, a long, a somewhat long cutscene at the beginning. Damn it. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. But if we have to wake you up, doesn't that mean you're already asleep? The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration of the world. Lloyd Irving, wake up! Lloyd! What do you want? God, God damn it! Ah. Seriously. How do you manage to sleep standing? You don't want to know. Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? <laughs> Genus. Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. I... Uh... Yeah, I knew that. I just forgot. Bullshit. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. Now Chosen One, Colette. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the Desions. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. Mmm, ranch. Shit, they're looking at each other. They were thinking the same thing I was. The Chosen's journey has two purposes. To revive mana, as well as defeat the Desions. Now, for the next question. What was that? That's... A crappy thrown in, I don't know, effect. Settle down. It would seem that the time for the oracle has come. I don't think anyone was freaking out, Rain. I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. Alright, cool. So, here we are actually controlling this guy, Lloyd Irving. He is, I don't know how many years he is, but he's not 
definitely no Yuri Lol. I'm giving you guys that much if you guys have played Tales of Vesperia. Anyway, here's the items menu, or like, here's the menu. Here we can actually check our arts. In this game, they're called Tex. And the only one we know right now is Demon Fang. Here we got items, apple gels, orange gels, and a life bottle. And these two unavailable things right now, we'll get to those when the time comes. Strategies. Our equipment right here, wooden blade and soft leather. Eh, basic stuff. You gotta start out with something. We can check our status right here and change our titles, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And here we have cooking right off the bat. Unlike in Tales of Vesper, we had to wait a sing to a certain scene. But enough of that, and wonder if that light has something to do with the Oracle. Dude! She freaking said that just now! And you're wondering, huh? I wonder if that was what she just said. I don't know. During class, Rain said that when the Oracle comes, a Crucius Crystal and, strine, and Shine... Uh, I cannot talk right! That light might have been the Crucius Crystal. The name for that is entirely a tongue twister to me anyway. That light was so pretty. Damn right it was. Now let's make our way out of here. Screw this. Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. And yes, they're... Just like in Tales of Vesperia, there are certain parts where the voices aren't available, so I have to talk. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration and the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. What's with the tongue twisters in this game? But anyway, here we have like an option. You would think that this has nothing to do with, like, this affects nothing in the game later on, but trust me, it kind of does. So, like, depending on your choice, it actually affects, like, uh, like your, relationship, your relationships with the party members. But I like doing this route. <laughs> it's research. That's just an excuse. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends after all. Clet, want to come along too? Huh? Um, okay. So, where to? <laughs> where else? That light, you're directly involved in all of this. Aren't you curious? Uh, aren't you cur- are you curious about it? Of course! Okay, then I'll be curious about it too. See? Dwarven vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay, then let's go to the temple. It's kind of ironic you point that out because she kind of depended on your answer. Not the Dwarven Vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. And without hesitation, we get Colette and Genus in our party. Z button appears, and it's just explaining skits right here. I'm just skipping that. Right now, skits gonna appear, but first let's actually check this out. When did this hole get here? Have you forgotten, Lloyd? This happened when Colette... It was during last year's spring cleaning. I was mopping and then accidentally... You're such a klutz, Colette. Subtle. <laughs> so yeah, now we got Colette a, a title other than the default one she already has. If you actually do check out her titles, at the bottom right there when it says level up, it actually tells you uh, what stats it increases faster. Like green text is like means the te green text means that the stats increase faster. Red one means it de increases slower. So yeah, this one actually increases our HP, strength, and accuracy on Colette quicker. So I'm just going to make her a klutz. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any other titles for anyone else, so we're going to have to make our way out of here. But first, I want to show off that damn skit. Hey, show up already. Show up. Ah, screw you two. What's going on? It's awfully quiet. Where did everybody go? Colette. Father. Frank. Eh, all right. Thanks, goodness, you're safe. Frank, what happened to everyone in the village? They're all hiding. The designs invaded the village just a short while ago. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. Why? Azalea has a non-aggression treaty with the designs. You mean that agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the human ranch alone? Yes, Grandmother said it's to protect me. Oh, where's Grandmother? Phydra is in the temple preparing for the ritual. Phydra's in the temple? But that's where the designs... The priests are there with her. There's no need to worry. Now, Colette. I know. I promise to fulfill my duty as the Chosen. Good luck, Colette. Lloyd, Genus, you two should go on home. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple. Me too. But, alright, thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. Nah. Alright, so here we are in the village of Oracle's Izalia. 
the game word blah, 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 I'm trying to talk properly anyway right here so memory circle where you can just save right here and I erased all my freaking save files on my memory card so that way you guys don't see how much I dedicated into this game trust me it's pretty overwhelming I'll get into it some other time well it's a monster I thought the northern region where the temple is located was a sanctuary why are there must be part of the trial Martel's trial involves battling monsters we don't have time to talk let's get this thing Roger Fuck yeah! You're going down. A zombie! All right, buddy. Anyway, you just use A to attack regularly, and you use B for arts. There. <laughs> very nice, very nice indeed. That was easy, Lloyd. You're amazing. Ah oh, well, I owe it to this thing though. Ah, oh, that's right, the X sphere. Yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. Without this thing, I'd be nothing. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah, at least his sword skills. Nah, at least his sword skills are good. What do you mean, at least? <laughs> There's another one. Let's go, you two. Wait, Lloyd. The professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks against non-physical and spiritual monsters. Really? Yes. Okay, then I'll leave the ghost to Genus. I'll go for the zombie. And here it explains switching over targets, you just gotta push the R button really quick to switch to the nearest enemy. Or if you hold the R button while using the control stick, you could choose your own enemy. As such. Alright, I got the zombie! I wanna kick some zombie ass! We'll get to the freaking ghost eventually, someday. And just using, making extensive use of Demon Fang, of course. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> Seriously. Ah, good old Demon Fang. Sports and choose the target wisely when there's a lot of monsters or if we're up against a dangerous one. Especially important when saving an ally that's in trouble. We have to be careful. Alright, to the temple! But first, let's go buy some stuff. Because I'm gonna be kind of, sort of, going for as much stuff as possible in this game. Unlike in Tales of Vesperia. <laughs> and here we can go to the shop right here. I'm grabbing some magic lenses. Because, of course, we can actually scan enemies for their information, or at least for their HP, TP, and their strengths and weaknesses, if they even have any. But enough loggly gagging with whatever the fuck I'm even talking about. Saving one more time. Ha ha ha. And if you guys actually do notice, like, uh, Lloyd starts out at level 3, Genus is level 2, and Colette is at level 1. Ah, that's nice. So let's make our way out of here. And here's the world of Silveront, everybody. We're gonna kick some ass. And I've just been avoiding the skits for so long, may as well show one. So what's the temple like? Say, Colette, what's it like inside the temple? We've never been inside, so it's kind of exciting. Hmm, well, it's sort of dark because not much sunlight makes it through. Awkward silence. That's not quite, a way, that's not quite what I was expecting. But then again, I've never been to the inner part either. Hmm. I can't wait to get inside. If only you could keep up this enthusiasm the entire time. <laughs> ah, good old sarcastic ass genus. Let's go all out. All right, Lloyd. Yes, let us go all out. First, I'm going to be getting info on this wolf. What kind of sucks about the magic lenses in this game is that even while you're scanning, like the enemies could actually still hit you. And here is a hawk. You know, basic ass enemies that we could fight, and we got a combo newbie. Wait, how the hell did I get 10 hit combo on them in that one fight alone? Because that was a title for Lloyd, so to get this one, you need a 10 hit combo, it increases our strength and accuracy. But I think we're gonna be getting a title later on in this. So for now, into the temple. <laughs> 